star athlete proves their worth on the court or the field time and time again, and then they have children, an immediate question that pops up is whether that daughter or son will also have the same athletic capabilities like their parent did. To be honest, sometimes it does happen, like with the Mannings or the Currys, but other times it's not as obvious or simple as that, which can be proven with people like Michael Jordan or other top tier talents. But what about Bronny James, son of LeBron James? What's he like, and does his future seem to line up with his dad's presence? Allow us to show you 10 things you didn't know about Bronny James. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. He's already got offers for college. Let's get the easy one out of the way. Yes, Bronny James is indeed an athlete, and in fact he was a two-sport athlete throughout much of his early days in school. His sports? basketball, and soccer. Not entirely surprising in regards to the first one. To help his son get the skills he needed, LeBron made sure to put him in good programs that would allow him to excel. This especially happened when he did the move to LA to join the Lakers. He put Bronny in a solid school where he got to improve himself even more. And because of that, he already has offers for college, despite the fact that he's not going to college for another few years. Just a reminder that unlike his father, Bronny has to go to college for at least one year. How many schools have already tried to get Bronny is unclear, but if schools think he even has a fraction of the talent that LeBron has, it's not shocking that they try to go for him. Number 9. Him and the Wades LeBron James and his former teammate Dwayne Wade formed a brother-like bond over the years, and that connection was passed down to their children. Bronny is really good friends with D. Wade's son, Zaire. The two are also teammates at Sierra Canyon High School in LA. This may seem like a small thing, but it's really not. LeBron and D. Wade really do hang out together whenever they can, even celebrating birthdays together on things like yacht. When LeBron moved to LA, as alluded to earlier, he was thrilled to have his son alongside D. Wade's son and the two are apparently quite the duo on the court, much like their fathers before them. Imagine if those two not only went to the same college, but ended up on the same basketball team. Yeah, that could be a game changer right there. Whether it happens or not is obviously immaterial. Let them enjoy their court time while they can. <laughs> Number 8. His favorite player is... Of course, most people would probably assume that Bronny James' favorite player has always been his father. After all, LeBron James is a lot of people's favorite player. And again, his father. It would almost be a prerequisite for him to love his father on the court above all others, right? Well, kind of. Because for many years, Russell Westbrook was actually Bronny's favorite player, and he wore jersey number 0 to pay homage. However, in 8th grade, he changed his jersey number to 23 just like his father. Was that a phase he was going through? Was there pressure from on high to change the number? Who can say? But it is very curious that he would like Westbrook over his father for any stretch of time, considering that his dad very much is a better player than Westbrook and has achieved much more than him. But hey, sometimes you can't help who you like, right? Number 7. Instagram Following in a lot of ways, Bronny James is just a regular teenager. On the other side of things though, his teenage experience is very different from most. Bronny already has over 5 million followers on Instagram, which puts him at a higher follower count than some people in the NBA, including some of his father's teammates. This no doubt seems kind of strange, right? Why would a son of a player have more followers than actual players? The answer here is destiny. Many will see that Bronny is that next big thing in the NBA given his current skills which as we noted he definitely has, and the training his father has is no doubt giving him. As such, people want to follow him in order to see what he can do and will do in their minds once he goes to the NBA. And the more talent he shows, the more he's likely to continue growing that following. Number 6. Gamer In addition to playing basketball, Bronny also enjoys playing video games. He is an active member of the only video game community and likes to play games like NBA 2K, Fortnite, and Call of Duty. Occasionally, he even likes to live stream his gaming sessions, which no doubt his fans like. And given his family's wealth, you can bet he always gets the newest consoles and the best new games so that he can satisfy that gaming itch. Nothing wrong with that, of course, especially since... Number 5. He joined the FaZe Clan in August 2020, Bronny took his love for gaming a step further by joining the FaZe Clan. The professional esports group has become very popular over the last few years and is home to several well-known gaming influencers. Other big names to become affiliated with the FaZe Clan include Philadelphia 76er star Ben Simmons. Now this is big for Bronny because it's yet another avenue for him to go and expand his name, his brand, and his skills in terms of gaming. Plus, it's connections that can help him out later on. Number 4. The Right to Social Media Instagram is one of the biggest social media platforms and it attracts people of all ages. Needless to say, Bronny has always wanted to be a part of the action. However, his father didn't allow him to join the platform until August of 2019, when Bronny was 14 years old. Since social media can be a cruel place, it's no surprise that LeBron wanted to shield his son from that world. Not to mention, people aren't always smart in regards to what they post on social media, and LeBron probably wanted his son to be a little more mature before going and posting things, which backfired as we will show you later. 
Number three, gotta be the shoes. Not only does Bronny like to wear sneakers that feel good, he also likes shoes that look good as well. He loves to go sneaker shopping and has gone to places like the popular Los Angeles sneaker store, Cool Kicks, that get some really nice shoes. And that might just be a personal goal for him should he make the NBA, be like his dad, and get his own line of shoes. I know I get a building, man. Coming through. Off-white, Euro exclusive, by the way. Couldn't get these in any of the states. Number two, staying out of the spotlight. Unlike his father, who literally can't help being out of the spotlight because of his profession and other ventures, Bronny well and truly doesn't go and seek out the attention of the media. Yeah, he has social media, but he's not on it every day. Furthermore, he doesn't do interviews about his dad, his personal goals, or anything like that, which is smart because it can help him focus on what's in front of him versus what is expected of him. Plus, since he is still a kid, doing all of that attention seeking could have hurt him in the long run. Speaking of which, Congratulations, his dad on 30,000 points. I'm proud of you, but you know I taught you well. Number one, he's already had a scandal. It may be a bit odd to end things on a darker note, but it's something that does need to be said. Because while his father was out in Orlando during the bubble playoffs, Bronny did some very questionable things that got put online. So what happened? Well, during the Eastern Conference Finals, LeBron went up against the Denver Nuggets and won game one of the series. When that happened, Bronny decided that he would go and celebrate by smoking a blunt. Which honestly wouldn't have been that big of a deal if he didn't do it during a thing on Instagram and then posting it for all sorts of people to see. Even though he realized what he did and took it down, it was too late and videos of the footage were posted online for all to see. And it didn't exactly paint Bronny or LeBron in the best of light. Because it is important to note that Bronny is only 15, which means him smoking anything at this current age is well and truly illegal. And the fact that he was so lax about this and posted it online further shows that he's not exactly stressing about him getting in trouble, which goes to show his arrogance. Plus, this all reverts back to LeBron because it's his parenting that gets called into question. Because his son decided to do an illegal thing while he was away. So thus, how much control does he honestly have over his son when he's with him? Again, it is a bit dark to end the video like this, but it's not a good sign that Bronny is getting into precarious situations like this before he's even in college. If he keeps this up, he'll get into trouble to the extent that he won't be able to play basketball, and that would be bad. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Bronny James and the attributes that are already being associated with him in one form or another? Do you think that he'll be able to make it to the NBA like his father? If so, do you think he even has a chance of being as good as his father? Should that even be a goal of his? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.